Welcome back! We are finally going to Cosmo Canyon for realsies. We've done all of the region pretty much, with the exception of like the the region quest, which hasn't been unlocked yet, so let's do this. Hey guys, it's me! Come back! Nanaki? I can't believe it. It really is you. <laughs> We were so worried. Oh, come on. Whoa. Come on. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me! Who? <laughs> He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling overwhelmed. You see that wanted poster? Pictures look nothing like us. Must be that way for a reason. Oh man, this place is just so busting with life, it's crazy. Oh, there's gonna be so many people wanting to play Queen's Blood around here, aren't there? <laughs> Like 30 people. <laughs> it's a really big area. I don't I know that I've gotta to go to like the destination marker, but I just wanna explore. If the music ends by going over here, I'm gonna be livid. <laughs> God, that's so good. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, uh, we'll be obviously spending our time here at some point. At some point. Oh my God. This whole area is, it is very emotional. <laughs> the music, it's, it's, this music understandably is a lot of people's favorites because it is just spectacular. And, uh, yeah, it did not disappoint. Oh, oh, that's awesome! Oh, it's so cool. Lots of hand signals. That's how Shinra sign language came to be a thing. I know the basics. Queen's blood, huh? Oh, I love that they put sign language in the game. Yes. Oh, and Cloud being respectful of sign language as well. What an absolute legend. Oh, it destroys an ally card. Oh, interesting. I was gonna say, that is be definitely better. I, for a second I was thinking, oh, I finally got something to replace the security officer. But, uh, n I mean, technically yes, but... It comes with its own element of risk. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I'll certainly consider it. Right, we'll start starting hands, starting hands, alright, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. Ooh. 
Yeah, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling cocky. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling all of these things. Let's try it. Let's try and win. Let's see how it goes. Will it go badly? <laughs> Maybe. Depends on where you put it. Right, I was worried about that. Okay. I'm now more worried. Um, oh, I want to put this down, but I'd have to win this row, which is very difficult in my current state. I'm not feeling great about this, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, <laughs> we've lost. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it felt good at, at first, and then it didn't. I think, honestly, my Fat Choco in might be a detriment. It has problems. I love it, but it does have problems. Okay, I think I'm going to place Titan down immediately. No, not you. Titan, I said. Yes, this is a good call. <laughs> um, ooh. I wish I had a two to place down, but I do not. So I'm going to place you down. Ooh, interesting. Could do that. It's not terrible. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna say, you're definitely gonna do something like that. I knew that was coming. Um, if I do that, maybe. Hmm. Is there anything better that I've got? Um, oh, actually, I could do that and get rid of you. I could do that. I'm not against it. I'll think about it. If you got a diagonal, then I'm in trouble. Okay, do I have a diagonal? Uh, I techni Technically, yes. Um, is that going to turn into mine? It is. Okay, good. I might have actually screwed myself by doing that. Uh, we'll find out, won't we? Oh, actually, no, hang on. Baby. Done. Right, well, I've won. <laughs> it's been it's been good. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you've got replacement cards. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Ooh, I've got to win this row, but that seems doable. Depends on what you put down. Okay, you've lost. Cool. All right, then. Well, it's been fun, hasn't it? Uh, what do I want to put down? Um, I've got free to play. I mean, I may as well. <laughs> it's looking good. Oh, you've got more you can do. Okay, okay, fair play. Fair play. You know what? All right, all right. There's not much more I can do. If I was them, I would have tried to replace the bottom. Oh, oh, you wiped. Oh, fair play. Oh, that was awesome. You know what? I can't fault that. That's an awesome move. I'm now in big trouble. Oh shit, actually. No, really. I'm now in big trouble. There's not much I can do here. It seems like there's not much you can do either. Unless you've got another replacement card. You do not. Okay, we've won. I was gonna say, oh god. Like, suddenly this became very scary. <laughs> Well played. I just need to beat one more person and I unlock to the next level. Yeah, that is definitely a powerful card. I can see why it would be good. That's a good fight, though. Hang on. Are you ex-military too? Okay, I mean it's doing sign, but he is just doing the same thing over and over again. Good luck with that. So he's not doing the actual sign for like I presume, because um, he just did the same uh, sign language over and over. Um, I don't know sign language well enough. I know very little, uh, but it's just, it's such it's so cool, and I'm so glad that it's you know more important. Oh, oh, really? This is the piano music? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right, let's do this. Let's do this. What a great song for it! Hell yeah! I'm not gonna be good at it, but I'm down. That's great. Let's do it.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck me. Okay, let's try that again. Jesus Christ. Oh man, that went so badly. That's not an A rank. That's not an A rank. Fuck, man. That's so hard. That's so, so, so much harder than it was. Oh my god. Like, the step up from this to that is unfathomable. If there is a trophy for getting all star ranks, I'm literally never going to be able to do that. It does not matter how many times I practice that. I will literally never, ever be able to get that perfect. It's not a, it's not a possibility for me. It's impossible to understand if you're not dyspraxic, but there is zero control over where I'm exactly going if I'm not looking at it. And I can't look at both at once. My brain can't do it. I could literally look at the trophy list right now, but I don't want to due to spoilers. Even if, like, just a passing comment in the trophy list, I don't want to know. So I can't find out until the end, but fuck man, at least I gotta try and get A, but oh man.
That should be good enough for A. That should be good enough for A. Thank God for that. Okay, cool. Not great, but good enough. Oh, man, that's so hard. That's so, so hard. That took me quite a few tries. Okay. It's the bit where they separate, like, because oh, it's, like, the, the disjointing. If it's the same, I can kind of get get a grip, but I can't look at both at once. There's no finer sound in all the world than the voice of a humble piano. Played terribly. <laughs> Disempowerment material. Nice. All right. I'll take that. Thank you very much. melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances. I have a suspicion I know where the final music piece is going to be without spoiling anything. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty confident. I guess there's two places. It could also be Tifa's room if... Uh, Tifa's house wasn't burned down five years ago. He might have survived, I don't know. I don't remember, honestly. Oh, Mercy's here, Planet's Mercy. Ooh. Okay, that's good to know. Have I already collected a couple? Because I might be able to do some stuff with it. Uh, that's Spirit. I have got enough. I just need more Cosmo Tile. Okay. Um, right, maybe... Oh, maybe. yeah, maybe I already had... Yeah, I guess I've had Mercy for a while. It's Spirit, I need that. Right, right, right. Okay, sorry. My bad. Alright, cool. Well, that was, a, that was a fun experience. I didn't hate it. It's just the thought of a, getting stars on it is, like, it's actually impossible for me. So it's quite daunting. I really, really hope it doesn't. I really hope it's just A's. If it is stars, I'm not even exaggerating. I would be okay with adding someone on PlayStation just to share my game with them <laughs> so they could do it for me because I will never be able to do it. Like, it's not possible. Like, and I, like, some people might be thinking, like, oh, you're exaggerating. No, I'm really not. I know, I know my abilities. I cannot ever do that. It, it's, like, if you're not dyspraxic, you just can't comprehend how impossible something like that is. It is, it is a wild <laughs> experience to try. I am so lost on how I get up to the top. The original game there was like a ladder somewhere, but I don't remember where that ladder is. Uh, and I'm guessing it's probably handled a little differently here. It's, it's, it's in the respect that it won't just be a random ladder. But, I mean, I presume I don't just speak to you, do I? Uh, no, it's not gonna help. Um, how do I get up top? There is definitely a way up top. Maybe it's just not here anymore. Maybe it's like different. Because I could have sworn it was in here. But I guess it's not anymore. Maybe it's just somewhere different. So I will, uh, I will look elsewhere. This place is huge, so that's totally fair enough. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe it's this. Ah, there is a second floor to this place. Yes, that'll do it. Well, let's see what the stores have. Let's see what we've got. Various materia. Item also, yeah, just just a, just a lot of materia. A lot of very good materia. But uh, I'm fine for now. I'm more intrigued about weapons. More specifically, if I missed anything. Uh, you've got one of these. Oh, there is a, a red moogle weapon. I have no idea where this was. But I missed it, so, haha! <laughs> a microphone that helps its user pour their heart into their cheering. Cool. Uh, and we've obviously got some of these. We've made this. Um, we'll make this at some point as well. Um, I'm fine for now. Uh, there's an item store. It's also a reading store, but. I think our, like, levels are pretty fine. Yeah, they're just, I was just gonna say, they're quite low, generally. So, I'm not gonna go for it yet. I'll wait until it's higher. Much, much higher. Hello, what do you have? Oh, you have cards. Ooh, you have a lot of cards, actually. Exciting. Okay, I'll take, oh, yeah, I'll take some of those cards. Um... Let's, uh, let's see if I can do anything cool with the decks. So, I'll wait for 
all of this to go away. Um, okay, so that's interesting. What does it do? The first time this card is enhanced, raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by three. The first time this card is enhanced. So I specifically have to enhance it for its ability to kick in. Interesting. That's quite specific. Not bad, but quite specific. Is that new? I don't know. If it is, I've forgotten. Stone Golem. When first enhanced, lower the power of enemy cards of the right again. It has to be enhanced first. Uh, first enfeebled, raise the power of allied cards of the by four. The thing about that is it's got free power. So actually, it's a better version of my Levicron. Yeah, I might add that in. Uh, this is when allied cards are destroyed, raises cost power by one. Uh, when destroyed, add resurrected amalgam to your hand. Oh, interesting, so it adds it back, I guess. Whoa, this layout is wild. Uh, when destroyed, raise the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by two. Ooh, no, 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 don't like that. When player lower the... Yeah, I don't care about that. These are new. I was going to say, I know there's some more new ones. Um, when first enhanced, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by two. Interesting. I didn't mean to do that, but yeah. Um, when played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards. No, not for me. When first enfeebled, lower the power of enemy cards and affected tiles by two. Hmm. What's Marvel do? When played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards and affected tiles by six. Yeah, it's cool, but it's hard to do, right? That's let's play and destroy enemy card. Destroy. Is that why destroy? I see why that's powerful, yeah. Uh, destroy an allied card and replace it. Yeah, yeah, these replacement cards. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of you. Because whilst you're great, as far as I can tell... Um, where was the card I put in? Yeah, this one. This doesn't actually have any specific negatives. It's just a more powerful version. And it can even raise the power of a card if it gets attacked. So I'm not seeing a downside. That is what enfeebled means, right? But if it gets attacked. So I'm not seeing a downside. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, yeah, I'll have with that. Born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why did we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. Oh, someone's powerful over there. I've been studying planetology Learn well the joys of giving. So where are they? Up here, I guess. 
Well, let's see what they're made of. How brutal are they as a card player? They're not going to be easy, that's for sure. Hello there. Traveler, you've more than a passing interest in Queen's blood. It has bewitched you. Be at ease. It is only natural to hear its call. Queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. It, like all things, is part of the great cycle that connects us. Indeed, each and every card holds within it a greater purpose. One that belies their form. Come, join me in a match that you too may glimpse the truth of our great mother. So, I'm gonna level up here. Which means we might be getting a new cutscene. Enhanced, raise power of allied and enemy cards on effect of by four. Enfeebled, lower that. Oh, man. Interesting. Terrifying card. Terrifying, terrifying card. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm happy with this. So am I right in thinking, correct me if I'm wrong, that this won't negatively affect my card, right? No, it does not. That's what I thought. Okay, good. Um, do I want to do that or do I want to do this? No, I want to do this. I think you're just going to take my, uh, my piece over there, so I'll just do that. Okay, the question is, how do I play this? Oh, I could do that, though. That might work. That might be fun. Oh, that could be very fun, actually. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do, let's do that. That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Uh, oh, I can't. Of course I can't. I'm being stupid. Uh, I want to do that. I'm hoping you don't take that away. Cool, that's fine by me. Oh, that is fine by me. Do I want to do that? There is a downside to doing this. Is there another card I can play? There's not really another... I mean, I... I can play this, but it doesn't help me. No, I am going to do it. I am going to do it. I want to get rid of that. There is a downside to doing that, but I, I can see a benefit. Oh, you're screwed. No, you're not. Wait, I forgot what you could do. Sorry, scratch that. Uh, okay. I'm going to do this. I don't think there's anything you can do to stop the top row, which means I win. Likewise, there's nothing I can do to stop the... Oh, I've stopped the bottom row. You, you've you stopped the bottom row, in fact. Um, could try and take it that way. Yeah, let's go for it. 23 top row. It's down to you now. I like how you keep... You, you've given me the bottom row. That's hilarious. Bless. Unless you're going to play something that can destroy something on one of these rows. Okay, fair play. Oh, damn! Oh, what's the what's the damage? It's a tie. It's a tie right now, unless you've got a replacement. Oh, what the hell? What happens under a tie? I've been waiting for this! I'm so excited, I have no idea. I'm going to assume they're going to win because they got two rows as opposed to one. Nope. Okay, just a, just a tie. Just a straight tie. Oh, man. I've been waiting for a tie to happen. I had no idea what the what the like how it was gonna go down. That ah, oh, it's so good. Okay, cool. I've I've been desperate for that to happen at some point. Uh, right, I'm gonna do this because I love this card. It's very powerful. It has a lot of great potential. Uh, I want that. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, interesting. 
Very interesting. I could do that, but it's not going to really have much benefit for me. Not yet, at least. I want to have more. More! Ooh, interesting. Yes, let's do that. I'm okay with this. I think. Oh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, 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 that. Let's do that. Yes, very good. I'm surprised they didn't... Why didn't they take it? Wow, they really should have. Did I just win? <laughs> uh, maybe? Ah, replacement. Fair. I say, what's the deal? Um, so, I don't have a way to stop that, currently. Um, I have a way to stop this. What can I stop that? Uh, I'll get rid of that, why not? It's fun, isn't it? It's a bit of a laugh. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I'm gonna play that. Okay, so... The best and smartest thing to do would be that. Oh, but I wouldn't win the round! Oh, okay, no, the smartest thing to do would be that. Because I wouldn't win it. I wouldn't actually win. Fair enough. With each card they replace, I grow stronger. Which is great for me. Um, is there anything that I could replace to get more power? Actually, yeah, this, or this. But that would lower that, so I guess this. Is there a downside anywhere else? Yeah, this is the best move. I'm just going to increase it by a lot. There we go. I think that's my best move. I don't think there's any other... I don't think there's a better move than that. Oh, there's nothing they can do. Cool! Well, I won. I was expecting them to have a replacement card to stop me. They just did not. Alright. I can't believe we actually got a tie. I'm so glad. Alright. We're about to level up, so let's go. <laughs> Pleasures belie the thorns beneath that will bleed you slowly and surely. Many devotees have succumbed to the darkness of which I spoke. Too many. Remember, the cards are a link between us and the planet. If you are in trouble, reach out. She shall answer. Oh, great mother, hear my prayer. Watch over your son. Interesting, I didn't level up. Or oh, I didn't get a cutscene for leveling up. I was expecting to. Congratulations, you have attained the rank of Blood Captain. Cloud! Wise, the AI you met on the ferry, has undergone a software update. It presently resides in the Dust Bowl. I advise you to challenge it and gauge its new and improved capabilities. Yes, it did tell me about that. I spoke to it when I was in the Dust Bowl, and it said I must be level 7 for it. So I knew that was coming. Um, but I was definitely expecting something more. Uh, not a problem. Just, uh, I was, I was thinking I was gonna level up again. So I guess I'll be heading up there. But first, there's another game! Haha! <laughs> um, yeah, it's right there. Just trying to see if there's anything else here, but no, I don't think there is. Oh, this music is so good. It's so, so good. This can take me back down, I guess. That's good to know. Anything in here? Not bad. Hey, how you doing? They saw the weapons up close like we did. They'd have no choice but to acknowledge how bad it really is. Folks around here, though, they get it. They want what's best for our planet. You can see it in their eyes. Wonder if it ain't too late to recruit them to Avalanche. So, something that's... <laughs> this place in the original game is incredible. There's a lot of emo emotional moments and it's really interesting. But most importantly, there is a cutscene that we're probably going to see basically after this game of Queen's Blood. Which is going to be 
very important for the game. And I suspect in this game it's going to be really excellently, like, told. Could this shark be more of a guppy? Well, I spy a row of razor sharp teeth in this little fishy's maw. You might be the QB killer we've been waiting for, but there's only one way to find out. That's right. Our audience doesn't want to hear commentary. They want to see blood. To up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be none other than your host with the most, me, Bernard. All right. Fair enough. Let's do it. So, when first and people lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by two. Interesting. That's actually a very powerful card. It's basically my death claw, but better. Um, no, death claw is actually really effective. Um, that raises affected tiles by two. I could get rid of Cactuar. Cactuar. Mm, uh, that's very good. That's very powerful. I like that. I might put that in the deck. That is a very good card. Um, okay. I'm going to replace you. And yeah, let's see what we got. Speaking of Death Claw, there it is. <laughs> there it is! I'm going to play it. Whoa. I can't believe he actually played the thing! Oh my god! Interesting. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I don't see a downside. Yet. I'm glad you did that. Okay, cool. Um... I am going to do that, yeah. Middle row is pretty stacked right now. Yeah, I was gonna say you'd be a fool not to do that. There's no way you're not. Uh, I'm in trouble because I'm aware what this means. I'm aware of what position I'm in right now. I'm amazed you didn't take that. Okay. I am amazed you didn't take these. Okay. Okay. Don't take the... Oh, wait, you're going to have to. Okay. Wait, what? What do you mean? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Well, I've just won. I just... Haven't I? It, it certainly feels like I've won. Am I missing something? Okay. Here we go. Interesting. But that doesn't benefit you. Not really. Hmm. I can raise the power of my own card. <laughs> okay, so what do I actually want to do? I mean, I got this, I got these, I got... I got some pretty good stuff. I'm not seeing a downside. Uh -huh. Could I take that? I would, you would lose two power, but it would be quite funny. Um, is there a better way to do this? I'll just do this, screw it. I was trying to work out if maybe there was a, a way to, uh, to win this hand, but I don't think there is. Which is fine. I'll just have to end the match with only two rows won. What a shame. It is a desperate, desperate shame. Oh my gosh. They got some points on the board. Not enough. Yeah, that's pretty good. Talk about carnage, am I right? I'm lucky I got out of that match with my limbs intact. Today's shark is a ferocious man-eating menace. He made a serious splash with some ruthless moves. Players the world over have got to be shaken in their boots. Something tells me this beast is about to upset the QB food chain. Better start swimming. Congratulations to you, sir, for an incredible match. Though we found the canyon's resident shark, the fun never ends on this show. 
Stay tuned because we've got more coming your way. All right, well, thanks for the game. Um, I won. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that card in. It's a very good card. It's a very, very good card. Um, oops. Um, cause yeah, like... How's it work? When enemy cards are destroyed, races cast power by one. That's really good. I don't want to get rid of that. That raises it by two. Raises something by two. I mean, it's got benefit. It's got benefit. The problem is, I don't have much for the top row, I guess. No, I still do. I'm gonna get rid of Cactua. I don't think Cactua does nearly enough. Um, I like Cactua a lot, but I don't think it does enough. Um, I don't think its powers are really coming into play. Um, in the way that I would want it to. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Oh, hi! <laughs> Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? Just puts up a middle finger. It's like, hey, that's not what I was after. The beauty of this place is unreal. Pictures can't do it justice. Wonders such as these have to be experienced in person. I want to believe I can capture this magic. I'm looking for spots with a spiritual feel, if you know any. Oh, I guess I can find something. Um... Let me look where that is on the map. Interesting. I... Mm, I am gonna... Mm, oh, I can't fast travel. I was gonna say, I'm gonna do it now, but actually, no, I won't know. That makes sense. It wants me to experience story. This is, this is gonna be something special, I'm pretty sure, so... Yeah, let's do this. What I quite like about Queen's Blood is it forces you to play against random people as opposed to like, hey, you know this main character or quest giver that you faced at or like spoke to earlier? They are now a wizard at Queen's Blood. <laughs> play them, <laughs> like it doesn't just do that. Which a lot of games do, and it's I understand it's cool that you get to play with with your friends and whatnot, but also they wouldn't be that good. Let's be real, they they wouldn't all be giants at the ah, sport. Not so fast. You okay. see, this is where we keep all our valuables. I guess I'll be going in there later then. Thanks for that. Looking forward to using all of your valuables. Probably. Probably. This place is stunning, isn't it? I mean, look at all that we explored. Do you remember when we were down there doing that ring challenge for two hours? That was yesterday. I feel so much better now. <laughs> I'm so glad I did it. Because, like, I could have left it till today, but I'm glad I didn't. Only those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. Fair. Fair enough. But yeah, no, this place is stunning. This whole game is stunning. It just, it just looks so impressive. It is not our fellow man, nor any creature big or small, with whom we share our home. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after Mama King. My name is Wukenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Mama King? Not yet. 
Be right back. Hmm. Oh, look! But where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. Amazing. I never thought you could become even more enchanting. And yet, it's like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. Don't you? Well, that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance. It is, in fact, a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. Hmm. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, those devices are testing the pull of gravity. <laughs> that records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. In other words, don't destroy it like the books. Understood. I will respect things. More so than I already have been, I guess. chiefly among us. Oh, you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. One of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm. Well, I suspect it can't detect much now. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. I guess there's something I haven't looked at yet. Oh. <laughs> My devices picked your curiosity. Oh, there's more. Yeah, there's more than upstairs. They are essential to my studies of the planet. I don't be honest. I didn't see the other set of stairs. <laughs> that's uh, that's on me. There's uh, there's a lot here. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Yes, unfortunately I have. <laughs> Far too many times, it seems. This place is huge. I mean, it makes sense. Whoa. That's a big telescope. I'll look at that in a second. What a view, though. And the fact you can still see it all down there. Like, you know, like the, fans, the blades are spinning even in, like, the bit at the very bottom. Like, they really didn't have to. Like, it, it wouldn't really matter if I couldn't see that. <laughs> but I can, it's awesome. I respect it very much. The lights we observe here. find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. 
But the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. <laughs> so what have I not looked at at this point? Is it clear? Uh, I don't know. It's uh, not very clear. I'm, I'm going to try and go into the observatory again. Or the, uh, yeah. I'm going to try and go in there. It doesn't sound good, I'll be honest. <laughs> didn't come from the planet though that was definitely the voice of a weapon hmm. you seem awfully sure of yourself miss because we saw them with our own eyes two in the corral and dungaga reactors they were loud and huge <laughs> a fascinating account were it true however such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Or, it's also possible, and I know it sounds crazy, but you're wrong. <laughs> as much as you know, you don't know. How can there be so much that you don't know, you don't know? I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. It's only the beginning. A shooting star. Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. 
It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, Of course, these are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay. But does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Got a question. The planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? <sighs> yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <sighs> I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environment. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Huh. Wasn't expecting him to freak out. <laughs> At least he accepted that he is probably wrong about certain things. Because there is so much to learn. And to learn he has not yet. The thing is, you can't... You can't learn everything. This is too much knowledge. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. What have we got in here? Oh. It's it's deep. Give me sweet, sweet items. Oh, there's loads of floors here, okay. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be some good stuff in here, hello. I have Moogle medals. So, I missed the chest with the uh, weapon for Kate Sif. If I went back and found that chest, what would be in it? Maybe it's a case where you can't ever find it again? I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, ooh, that means I can craft something. Give me a sec. Yeah, I can make the hyper. Excellent. And I leveled up! Oh, yes! I am amazing! 
Still can't do some celery, but I want to. Oh, next potion. Oh, oh, is level 15 gonna be the final level? No. I mean, maybe, but no. No. Perhaps, but no. Can't make that. I need one more beast hide. Oh, I can make this, though. Uh, increases limit gauge charge rate upon successfully blocking. Oh, pretty good. That's the Jabberwock horn. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, level 15 might be the final level here. Because, yeah, there's these things which will obviously get me there. Um, and these will help me. Maybe it does go beyond 15, but certainly, like, couldn't go... I mean, it could go to level 20, I suppose. Depends on how much is there. Um, but it certainly feels like we're, we're getting there. Um, oh, I thought I could go up these stairs. I can say there's something down there. Hmm. I'm appreciating the uh, huge wealth of items that this area has. Ah, is that the other door that I saw just down below? I think it might be. But before that, hello, there's a weapon. I knew it. I knew there'd be a weapon. Is it going to be for red by any chance? It can't be for red. Red's leaving us. Right? Oh, it's a crystal megaphone. Okay, maybe red is leaving us. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, I probably need to put Kate Sif's new weapons on. Because you got some new ones. Got the Red Megaphone, and you got... Oh, that's got no materia. Um, and that's got Moogle Magic. Uh, a Megaphone whose gorgeous gems are receiving resonance. Uh, it's pretty good. I quite like it. Um, it's very pretty. Uh, what do you have in terms of stuff here? Boost your attack power. Yes, please. Uh, reduce damage taken by Moogle by 50%. This is luck while we're in the movie. Yes, please! Oh my god! This is a really good. Reduce simply cost of attack spells by 10%. Um, what's that one? Mm, interesting, 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 interesting. Ah, uh, that might be good because he's quite good. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Why not? You, that's that's just made Kate very powerful indeed. <laughs> very, very powerful. I, uh, I like that very much. That is good. I think that's everything here. And if I'm not mistaken, this door is going to be the one I saw down below. If it's not, I'll be surprised. Yes, it is. That's what I thought. Right this way. Thank you. I appreciate your help and guidance. Um, where are my friends? Um, they are... Somewhere. <laughs> they sure are somewhere. Uh, I think I need to go this way. I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah. It's, uh, it's been a pretty interesting area. And that, uh, that story of the planet was absolutely stunning to look at. Hey, Yuffie. How you doing? Village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. I mean, a mix of both. Like, <laughs> from fellow Guggenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say okay. is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked into credits? Yeah, the music here has just been absolutely stunning. Absolutely love it. I've always been on the bigger side, but I've never been in control. Blessings of the planet upon you. Thank you. Bugenhagen sent word that you might be joining us. You are more than welcome to do so. Excellent, I shall. Please continue on into the assembly. Okay. I don't know why I was expecting some kind of like university lecture hall, <laughs> but this is not it.
What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. Man. <laughs> it's been said so many times, but it's crazy how much they flesh the story out. Adding so much more to what was already a pretty full story. But in a way that doesn't bloat it. It doesn't take away from the original, it doesn't doesn't overcomplicate, it does it just adds more layers, more depth, more fun. And that is what it a remake should do. It's very hard to strike that balance. A lot get it wrong. And to I me, mean, you know it. They've done it. Oh God, that's gorgeous. But you know they've done it right because this isn't just one game. This is a trilogy, and it's just as good, if not better, than the first, which is very difficult to get wrong. Get right. Sorry, not wrong. <laughs> of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself with filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, but nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. I am going to save. 
because there is a real chance of getting some of these wrong. I don't want to get them wrong. I want to get them right. Must be quite the festival. Look at them gathered around the fire, just like us that day. Me and mom and dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. That's fair enough. In your own time. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. What? Ugh, oh, should have known better than to get philosophical with you. No, I said the wrong thing. I said the wrong thing. Load. <laughs> Liz, this, this is why we saved. This is why we saved. Because of this. I knew I was going to get it wrong. I, I, I saw that, like, the totally was, like, slanted. I was like, mm, does that mean anything? Yeah, of course it does, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Look at them. I'll Just lend like an ear. Uh, I'll lend an ear. Yeah, by the way, they're in different places, if that wasn't clear. I think so it's very easy to get it wrong. It comes to... Sorry, I can't. And that's okay. Still not ready. And you're in time. Yeah, I do not know what the right thing is to say with you. So, let us save and find out. When you die? That has... Once you die? Mm. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. That's fair. I don't know what the right answer is with you, Fee. I want to see what happens if you say pretty much. I'm curious, because I don't, I don't actually know what the technically right thing to say is. Pretty much is a solid gamble, but, but it might not die. be right. That has, once you die. Pretty much. Thank you. So if you get that, you get why I live every day like it's my last. Hmm. Yeah, that's fair. I respect that. Right, let's save. It is interesting to see the different, like, responses they give, though. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. I feel like I said the wrong thing, but that was absolutely not the wrong thing to say. Interesting, but Kate isn't... Maybe I can not speak uh, speak to you. Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. Hmm. I guess you can't ever have a date with Kate then. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Uh, right, let's not get this bit wrong. Aerith is, uh, like, moving on with plot. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. 
for the most part. It's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. My blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy, even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. It is time! <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? Every word, though. 